Yeah, 100,000 acres. The numbers tonight are just stunning as firefighters continue this stubborn fight against the Bobcat Fire. We're here in Valermo, one of the Antelope Valley communities where the fire has been steadily moving over the past few days. You can see how it ran through here, burning everything it could, leaving behind a still steaming landscape of ash that really goes for as far as we can see. Now in the distance, uh, just above the mountains, you can see a few fairly new plumes of smoke to the east. Those are flare ups heading toward Wrightwood. From here all the way to there, we've been watching air support carrying water. And all along this road, there are crews stationed putting out hot spots. Now, uh, Sky 2 can best show us the scene. A thick layer of smoke is all over this area. The fire has been steadily moving into the more remote areas of the Antelope Valley, getting dangerously close to neighborhoods and forcing residents to evacuate in Valermo, Juniper Hills, Big Pines and Wrightwood. Those are new evacuation orders. A Red Cross evacuation center has been set up at Palmdale High School for anyone who does need shelter. Evacuation warnings now remain in effect in both Altadena and Pasadena though it does seem that the fire seems to have uh, been moving away from that area. And as you mentioned, we do understand that the Nature Center in Devil's Punch, I understand we have some video of that, was overcome by flames and has burned, again, more than 1,600 firefighters and 200 engines are fighting the Bobcat Fire, which started two weeks ago now. They say this is stubborn. It is, as you said, again, at just 15% containment. We uh, stopped at kind of a mini command center not far from here, just down the road. And the crews here told us that they would not be surprised if they are here for another two weeks. That's how stubborn this Bobcat fire is proving to be. In Valermo, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. All right, Lori, thank you.